So today I'm going to show you how to start a simple project on a PLC M221. So we launch the software which is EcoStructure Machine Expert. The software is free. So as you can see we have some errors right now. So right now it's telling me that there's a read protection error and a write protection error but for the time being I will set it to inactive All right I will give the software a name so we need mint PLC simple project So now we go to the configuration. So the PLC I'm using is C. It's this one. So we just drag the PLC. Now, as you can see, this is the PLC I'm using here. It's a serial port when you can connect 485 devices that is RTU like temperature sensors, level sensors. Here you have the network connection, the TCP, where you can set the IP so that you can have mode bus communication over IP. These are the input. We have 40 inputs and these are the outputs you have 16 outputs the 24 inputs so for the program I'm going to start a simple program I will just do a direct online just a normally close switch a normally open switch this is a contactor this is a auxiliary contact of the contactor km1 and this is a this is a overload and this is a contactor which is here and it's here you have the free phase motor and here you have the incoming free phase So to do this we have the normally close, a normally open contact and then you have a contact which is here. So this I will give it an address the address is I I will start with one because I have my PLC which is already addressed on address input one and this one I will put it input two so here you can see I can give it a name so this will be off and this will be the on command this will be the output Q K1 now To maintain the key one, I just put it here. You drag the line, Q, the point one, and we click save. So 
so now it's okay so now for testing of the PLC we can run it in a simulation mode so we go to the commissioning we launch the simulator now we have to start the controller and next we go to the programming tab as you can see right now the normally close is active it's green now I'm going to give it a command and as you can see the output is active even though the input button which is here it's off as you can see there is no green color so the the electrical path is through this contact which is the output of this one so this is a basic on and off connection as basic on and off switching of a contactor for a direct online I can switch off so now it's false so basically as you can see so I have been able to switch on a switch off so I can give a command again so it's on I remove the false false contact so now it's okay so we'll switch on again remove the false so right now the contactor is off again so this is the most simple connection I mean line diagram that we can do in a PLC this is one way I am going to show you an another way so for this I am going to stop the simulator so we make a new line we come here we put the switch normally open here we create I'm going to use a set reset coil so this will switch on now we have to add another line so it will be a normally open contact itself but this time I'm going to use a reset contact this I'm going to use another input I 0.3 so this will be So this I should give an address I will use Q0.2 I will just name the tag motor 1 and here also you should use the same one because I'm going to reset the same coil so it will be the same name you can put directly the address and the name will appear automatically so you can just click save so now we are going to test this new condition 
we start the controller so now we go to the programming let's move this here so to switch the motor on I just remove the force as you can see even the signal is out the output number two is still active so to switch off this coil we have to reset the condition of the above by pressing the stop button which is here as you can see the function has a reset so it is off now so we try again okay remove the fault so it will remain on until I reset it So this is another way of making a direct online using set and reset memory functions. So this is a simple program and if you want to do advanced comment we have to stop. can just double click and here you can put the comment you want of moto moto ttx we just click save and you will see the comment appear here so here you can give another name dol using k1 as memory so as you can see I have already done a comment on it So this is a simple program so in the next tutorial I will show you how to make this program talk with an HMI so for this we will have to set up an IP address for the PLC and an IP address for the HMI and the different memory so Thank you.